Welcome to the first module of our Business Toolbox video tutorial series. This tool has been specifically designed to small businesses and makes use of census, business demography and linked employer-employee data. The tool will help you find the size of your target market or investigate a small business industry in New Zealand. You can find Business Toolbox under the Quick Link section on the Statistics New Zealand homepage. Alternatively, you can make use of the short URL www.stats.govt.nz forward slash business toolbox. Having clicked on the link, you are directed to the landing page for Business Toolbox. This page provides a short summary on the two main components of the toolbox. In this module, we'll take you through Market Mapper, which will give you a visual representation of your target market in terms of age, sex, income, or ethnicity for individuals or well, there is also the option to define your market using household or family variables. Let's open up the market mapper now. When launching market mapper, by default we see the map on the right hand side and a selection panel on the left hand side of the screen. Within the selection panel you have the option to define your market using individuals, families or household variables. In this example we'll use the individual variables which are already displayed by default. Within this tab, we are able to further define our target market by selecting up to three of the four variables. For instance, let's say you had a new product which you believed in the main was going to be purchased by young males earning between $30,000 and $50,000 each year. To make these selections, we first click on the box next to the variable we wish to define. You continue this approach and select up to three variables. Once selected, press Go. This will result in a map with a pin in each major region of New Zealand. We can hover our mouse pointer over any of these pins to identify the size of a market as per the selected variables for that particular region. For a useful comparison, the pop-up box also displays your target market for the whole of New Zealand. Now at this stage, you may be wondering how do I get more detailed geographic data? Well, there are a number of approaches which can be used. You can either double click on the area you are interested in until the map is displayed to your desired level of detail. Alternatively, you can use the search option within the search bar in the bottom right hand corner. We enter either the name of a desired city, district or area unit. An area unit is loosely comparable to a suburb. If you have entered an area unit, it might be useful to enter the name of the city or district it belongs to after a space in order to arrive at more accurate results. Once we've entered our desired location, we can click on the magnifying glass next to the search bar. As you can see, it zooms to a view that displays the searched area unit and the surrounding suburbs within the mentioned city or district. Alternatively, we could also use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out of the map. The density of our specified target market can be assessed by matching the colour displayed over the area in question with the colour scheme on the left hand side of the screen. Once again we can see a pin within each displayed area unit and if we hover our mouse over any one of them we should be presented with relevant figures in a pop-up box. Within each pop-up box there exists a link to quick stats about the region, city, district or area unit in question. This link takes us to a publication showing a summary of the census data where we can find a whole range of figures for the area. Let's open up the quick stats for Waikofi West. 
Once the QuickStats publication has been opened, we'll find a series of different topics for the area of interest. Clicking on any of these tabs will display the relevant information for the particular area that we are looking at. But for now, let's go back to the Market Mapper tool. The same procedure as was used in the Individuals tab can be followed to identify the number of households or families that fall within your target market. A point to note here, however, is that within these two tabs, only one of the three available variables can be selected at any one time. If we would prefer viewing these numbers in a table, then we can click on Table, where we can once again select inputs for three of the four variables for the Individuals tab and one variable for Families and Households. Once your selections still match your criteria, simply click on Go. Once you've clicked on Go, a table will be displayed that shows the size of our target market and other useful figures for all regions across New Zealand. Each region has a little plus sign next to it. Clicking on this provides more detailed area breakdowns within the region of the plus sign that had been clicked. For instance, using this method, let's see if we can find Waikofi West again. In some of the bigger territorial, territorial authorities, there are a number of area units. But here's Waikofi West and Waikofi East, with the relevant information displayed, and also a useful link to the QuickSats publications. At the top of our screen, we'll find a link to the other tool available within the Business Toolbox. This is called Industry Profiler. We can use this to directly access the Industry Profiler from any page on Market Mapper. There is another tutorial for Industry Profiler which should help you navigate through that tool. But for further help regarding Market Mapper, you can access the Help option at the top of the screen. Or please don't hesitate to call our information service on 0508 525 525, which is toll free in New Zealand. One of our friendly information advisors would be more than happy to talk you through Market Mapper, our first ever free tool that uses official statistics to help you identify your target market.